It's Don here from the board. Thanks for coming along and checking out this video. So, it's been a couple of days wait for me and I have another PCB. Uh, in fact, this is actually the revision of my Big Switch PCB, which uh, is of course designed to fit with the Novel Keys x -Kale Big Switch series, which I've done some videos on before. And the revision of this PCB was to try and move the hole for the stem that was slightly off position uh, from my original design. So I'm not quite sure where it is. It's, it's somewhere in one of my drawers over here. Um, but uh, I didn't actually think ahead to have that ready. But anyway, so I moved the footprint um, and I thought I'd have another crack at it to see if I could get it in the right position. While it's not the most expensive exercise in the world, it is of course uh, a cost and it is draining. So if I'm not successful this time round, I'm gonna have to wait a little bit before I can get a bit more cash, of course, to do a round three and hope to be able to move the center stem into the right position. So let's just switch over to the desktop. Let's crack this open. Let's pull out the big switch and see if uh, second time is the charm. So there we go. So there's there's the big switch. Uh, there's a pair of scissors. There's the package in my hand. And, uh, let's 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 go. See how we go. Now naturally, of course, uh, I did it through all PCB like before. I haven't really had any issues with them so far, and uh, yeah, thought I'd just keep on trucking with them since I work well with them. Box, of course, is okay. It's been a little bit crush opened, but nothing major. There's another invoice as per usual, and uh, here we go. So I made an order for 10 so that it would allow me to have five sets of two since I designed them to be worked as pairs. Let's just do a count uh, through the packet. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so I definitely got how much I wanted and looks like they were able to squeeze in a couple of extras this time around. So it's always nice to have a couple of extras for, for prototyping or benefit. And let's just get that, that packet open, shall we? And then we shall discover the truth of the matter. Now, I didn't change anything else on this except for the position of that hole. And I also increased the hole a slight fraction just to try and uh, err on the, the cautious side. The footprint is exactly the same in terms of its overall size. And uh, that's, that's what it looks like right there so it's just very simple very simple let's put that away so I don't cut myself or anything else accidentally let's crack open the switch and uh, deep breath time deep breath here we go the switches go in and ha success look at that sweet I am, I'm so happy that this <laughs> worked. I am, I am so, so happy. So straight off the bat, no need for any modifications. Um, the hole itself seems to be adequately large, but uh, with, yeah, there's a bit of, there's a bit of play on that that's possible. I can get my fingernail around it, but to be honest, because of the size of these pins and the size of the actual PCB that I've slotted in there, uh, it doesn't really move terribly much. And if you're going to solder them in, which is what I intend to do, you're not really going to have an issue at all. Uh, yeah. Now, because I've got this available and I've actually got a, uh, a massive packet of standoffs now, uh, you know what? I do need to rummage in these boxes because uh, I had some some two mil screws. That ah, okay. So so it was it was already in here, uh, and that way that'll save me having to open a massive packet of screws just for the heck of it. 
screwdriver. Right, so what I can do uh, with this is I'm just going to obviously undo these ones that I've got on the edge over here and hopefully I won't drop them and make myself appear very silly. Take that off. Feed that through. There we go. That's one. How about I just take them all off? Now I think these standoffs that I'm taking off now might be 10 mil standoffs, whereas in this packet, I've actually got 12 mil standoffs. I mean, two mils doesn't sound like a lot, but when it comes to putting cases together, it can actually make a big difference. I prefer the 12 because it does give you a bit of breathing space when it comes to um, clearance on the Pro Micro. So, just gonna uh, put these, I realize that I'm probably working half off the camera at the moment um, yeah. but uh, there's not really terribly much to see it's, that's terribly exciting right now it's just putting some screws on man I'm, I'm super keen to uh, see how this will look now that I've actually got that all sorted and of course to check out what the clearance is going to be like with that, of course, I am going to have to once again take it apart simply because uh, when I actually solder the Pro Micro onto it, uh, what we're going to be looking at. So let's just loosen those screws off a touch. And then I can just undo them by hand. I really need like a smaller screwdriver for this kind of thing, but uh, I don't have one at the moment. Now, after I actually build this at some point in time uh, and test that it actually works, I don't believe there's any reason why it wouldn't work. So that's, that's the old one, which I'm going to put away. And I'm just going to get out a fresh one just because I can. Make sure I uh, line up the holes correctly oh, goes that away and I can uh, put a screws back into it or at least attempt to uh, yeah so once I build it check it out test it flash it and it does what I want it to do uh, I'm probably gonna throw up an interest check with some you know pricing and brackets and shipping and all that kind of stuff after I do my research and yeah if people are interested in actually getting on a little buy on this on this run uh, obviously in a moment you're gonna see what it kind of looks like it's gonna be a very sort of raw type of looking switch in case it's not gonna be as fancy as some of the other ones that people have made but the advantage I suppose of this PCB is it does have the screw holes so you can actually develop and build your own case around it and screw this into an actual case so if you want to do a wood case just want to route out according to the dimensions and then you can put some standoffs into the case you can do that or if you've got a 3d printer case and you have some holes that you can put into that you can just hot glue or once again self tapping screws put them through the pcb into your case or if you just want to do it uh, like a, a sandwich simply because you can probably create some kind of plate for this i haven't done that yet uh, and I figured that would probably be a bit more difficult because of how bad my measuring is and my measurement tools are but that would enable you then to uh, obviously be able to plate mount this so here we go again uh, straight in look at that so that is what it would look like and you can kind of see from the side profile there the pins aren't so this is with I think the 10 mil. Let me just get a ruler. No, these are 12s. Is that right? These are 12s. So these are exactly the same as what I've got here. Um, you can see that there's 
enough gap space that the pins aren't actually going through into that bottom PCB, which is great if you wanted to make sure that your pins were uh, not going to be double soldered. But if you did want a bit of security, you could probably use a, a 10 mil and then that would just have those pins sitting inside that bottom PCB, which would allow you to be able to solder them twice over. Now, of course, with 12 mil, you've got heaps of space and then the Pro Micro would sit on this side um, and the USB would come out there. So that is what my big switch PCB looks like when it's uh, fully attached. Look, there's, there's enough tension there at least that, you know, sits on the desk, just put some bump-ons and there you go. Super stoked that uh, this revision has turned out for the best, for the better. Woo! Fantastic. All right. So, uh, yeah. I don't think there's terribly much else that I need to say at this point in time. I will put it together. Um, and then, of course, I'll probably have a quick video showing uh, that it's it's doing something, something, soldered in or, or whatever, and, and the final build with a Pro Micro. So thanks for checking out the video. If you liked it, hit like. Um, if you want other people who've got big switch series switches and you think they might be interested in having one of these PCBs for the purposes of mounting it using the double PCB or just having it easy so they don't have to hand wire it, then uh, yeah, share it so they can see it and just watch out for whenever I end up putting an interest check or the group buy. Okay, well, thanks very much. And of course, as usual, until next time, happy clacking.